Hey Internet, welcome back. I'm the Cow Says Moo, and you're watching The Exploits of Calgamel, Episode 21, a Minecraft 1.2.3 Let's Play with a whole bunch of mods. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it last game, Episode 20, but I did remember to take out everything from my alchemy bag and put it into this chest here into the uh, archaeological and mining workshop um, so you can get it. There's kind of some weirdness if you download a world download uh, that has alchemy bags. You can do a workaround, but I figured I may as well just throw everything into this chest too to make it easy on you guys. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is just grab everything back out of here and put it in my bag. So I'll meet you back here in just a second. Alright folks, I'm back. As you can see, I've got everything back in my uh, alchemy bag here. I was kind of looking up some apiary stuff. I don't know if I'm going to get to that today or not. We'll see. Um, I'd kind of like to get some of those bee things automated a little bit, but I don't know that I'm quite ready to do it. I've only messed with that once before, and it might take me a little too long to do on camera without uh, some testing first, but we'll see. Uh, so I'm just going to head back to the laboratory here, and I think that I want to do a bit of Thomcraft research today. Get some of those things figured out to see what kind of goodies I can get. Um, I'll probably start doing it on camera and then cut the camera for a walk because you've seen it a little bit before. Um, let's see. I've got some zombie brains too, so maybe I'll make some brains in jars while they're working. Awesome. We'll just get started on some of these fragments. I've got some bookshelves in here, I believe. I do. So uh, we'll just throw that one in there first and see what happens. What are my odds? 23, not great, but we'll see. Uh, so far lucky on the loss. Nope, okay. Well, we'll throw some of these other ones in there and see what we can do. Uh, maybe I'll try to get these zombie brains going. Let's see what I can find there. Um, zombie brains was soul sand. Yeah, I've got eight of those. We'll just get like four. And glass. I need buckets of water, I believe. Uh, it doesn't look like I have any buckets in there. Let's see what I can do. Oh, sound like that Quasitum stopped up there. Let's see what we got. Eh. That was weird. Didn't I research? fragments and I got a fragment out of it. Hmm, I wonder what I researched. That might mean that there's no more of the type that I put in there. We'll see. Uh, these are just lost knowledge though, so I think I should have a bunch more in here. Alright, well. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Uh, let's get a couple buckets and I'll make some more brains and jars here. Um, I think I'm going to do four, so that'll be 12 buckets. And those stupid cows down below that I can hear are kind of annoying. I might have to push that thing a little deeper just so I can't hear those complaining cows whining about being in a little 3x3 three three room with only a little bit of grass and all their friends, because I don't want to hear it. <laughs> All right, let's get some buckets out here, fill these bad boys up, and try making some more brains and jars, and hopefully get a little lucky on some of this research. We'll see. And I still hate this button. For some reason, it doesn't always work very well, but I got it to work pretty well that time. Especially when I'm recording. Fraps just lags things up just a little bit more and it's enough to make those spiral stairs annoying and that uh, door a bit annoying. What do we got? Anything? Ooh, awesome. Stabilize Singularity. Arcane Focus. Charm of Vigor. Sweet. We got all kinds of things. Um, let's throw this one in here. It's easy. It won't take long. And we'll throw that medium one in there. Cool. Um... I'm doing brains and jars. That's upstairs. 
And I'm probably going to need something to throw in here. So let's see what I've got. I did some mining a little while ago. I should be okay. Uh, yeah, i got a couple diamonds. We'll just grab a few of those and throw them in there. Probably not the best use for them, but now that we've got the generators going, I can be a little less frugal with them. Doesn't look like we're going to fill it up anytime soon, so that's okay. Perfect. Oh, it looks like I had all the components in there already. I forgot about that. I forgot that I had left it partially loaded before. Let's see, I need one more piece of glass there, I guess, for that. Awesome. So I got five more brains in jars, and I've still got some brains left to do other things with if I feel like it. That's cool. We'll see what else we can do with these. Maybe we can use them for more research. Uh, sweet, let's see what this bad boy is. Increase the efficiency of devices or thomic creations it's attached to. All right, so I could probably hook that up to like my, uh, hmm, I don't know what I can hook that up to. I think, yeah, so this is an upgrade slot for this infuser, so it looks like I can probably hook it up there and it'll maybe use less V uh, to create things. So that's pretty neat. I don't know that that's something I need to build right now, but it's certainly pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else I can make up here then. Um, that's moderate. We'll do that one next. And let's get these burning jars set up. Where do I want to put these bad boys? Let's throw one here. Well, no, let's actually put it here. Ah, you stupid thing. Getting a little bit lag, so I got a double click error. We'll see if I get it back. I did. Awesome. And put another one right here. And I'll have to fill these in a little bit. Oh, I thought I had books there. I guess not. Um, here. May as well take one out of there. There we go. Cool. Um, let's throw it over here, too. And then one right here. Get some books for that over there. Just fill it in to make it look good. And I'll do the same with my lapis here, clean it all up, but I can do that off camera. That's not a big deal. Um, this one here, and uh, maybe I'll put this one right over here. Just have a row of them here. Awesome! Uh, so that should help out my research a little bit, I hope, and make this room just look pretty spiffy. Uh, maybe I'm going to move this one down here up to that second row. Over here. There we go. Get out one more bookshelf here. Drop it down there on top of that gold. Awesome! Uh, my little room is looking pretty good. Um, and I did get that arcane focus, so let's check that out. I think this is just used for the uh, arcane bore, which I don't know, I'm not especially excited about. It looks really cool, but I've got a quarry going, so it's not as important to me right now. I might play around with it though in a bit. Uh, these are both tricky. Um, let's throw that one in there first and see if we can get something with that. Oh, see? I put forbidden in there and I got two things out of it. 
There just must not be anything else forbidden that I can get, I guess. I don't know. Um, and I am out of paper. So I will cut the camera here and go grab some paper and maybe make up a couple more bookshelves. And we'll uh, finish up with this uh, Thumbcraft research and go on to something else. I'll be back in a sec. All right, folks, I'm back. I cleaned up this room, um, added those uh, lapis panels or covers, um, went down and made some more paper and some more bookshelves and stuff. I think I'm going to sit here and just research up a few more of these items and try to research my couple fragments and theories that I got, but there's no need for you to, guys to watch that on camera, so I'm just going to get those done and I'll show off what I get and then we'll move on to something else. So I will be back in just a few minutes. Hi, folks, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I got quite a few discoveries here, and uh, this thing's working on the torturous charm of vigor still. It's been doing it for about 10 minutes, just going up and down. I'm tired of waiting. If it succeeds, great, um, but I might just run out of bookshelves before it does it, so we'll see. Um, but what did I get? I got an Arcane Focus Fire, and I think I got an Earth one as well. Yep. Uh, I got a Thaumic Duplicator, which sounds awesome. I think what that does is lets you use V to duplicate any items you want. I got a Thaumium Crucible, which is an upgrade to the Crucible I have. Actually, an upgrade to this Crucible, the Crucible of Eyes, which, which I also got. So that's cool. Uh, those I will definitely put to use down in the dungeon eventually. Uh, Thaumic Crystallizer. I'm not entirely sure what that does. Maybe it makes crystals? Um, let's see. See if it tells me what it does. Convert liquid V back into crystals. Oh, by re-energizing depleted crystals. So the depleted crystals that I've gotten, it'll go ahead and turn them back into full-on crystals. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else did I get? Um, it de I definitely did appear to be out of the uh, the black recipes. I can't remember. Forbidden. Uh, because every one of the forbidden things I put in there, I got either... Uh, Forbidden Fragments back, or a few other ones. I did get an Eldritch one, which gave me this. Uh, which looks like it creates the stone that the obelisk is made up, or the monolith is made up of. That's pretty awesome. I don't know how to get Drop of Darkness yet, though, so that'll have to wait. But still, that's pretty cool. Another building material is all, always fun. And I did get the Potion of Purity which looks like it removes taint in an area. So if I ever get up to the point where I've got too much taint and want to get rid of it, that'll do it. So that's pretty cool. Um, nothing that I feel the need to actually work on right now, uh, rather than skip ahead to what I was planning on doing this episode. So, ooh, oh, oh, we might be done with this. Charm of Vigor. There we go. Let's see what this bad boy does fish, and a golden apple. That sounds tasty. Uh, it'll keep you fed and keep you from drowning. Oh, that's pretty interesting. I don't know of a combination of fish and apple, but that sounds pretty good. <laughs> anyway, um, what I was going to do is back at the factory today, so let's head over there. Hi, kitty. Back over to the factory, and I'm going to need to move this teleportation circle here sometime. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. Maybe set up two of them, one at the factory and one at my estates. Alrighty. So what I think I'm going to do is, first off, uh, there are a couple things that aren't quite fully automated that I want to automate. And to do that, though, I need to get some more logic gates from this system over here. And I don't remember if I put stuff in here or not. Uh, it looks like I did. So I'm not 100% sure which gates I'm going to need. I haven't spent too much time thinking about it. But I think what I'm going to want is some uh, iron or, or and gates. So to get those, I'm going to need a couple iron chipsets first. So we'll get that requested. Maybe I'll take a few of these out of there and just have four of them requested. And these are going to take forever to make. Even with three lasers at full power, they take quite a while, so I'm just going to request them and walk away for now. Um, I will want some wire, so maybe I will control-click and get some wire queued up too, and we'll get both of those going. 
and uh, for right now that's all you need. Um, the wire is pretty easy, all it takes is redstone and some rose red. The uh, redstone iron chip sets, I think what it takes is just redstone and iron. So just for reference for recipes for this assembly table. Um, and the, the blue and the green wire work pretty much the same as the red, they just take blue and green dye instead of red dye. So pretty simple. There we go. Uh, the main thing that I wanted to do today, though, is over here in the control room. I think I'm finally going to figure out what I want to do down here with this system. It's going to be fun, and it's going to be a little silly, but uh, I think we can manage it here today, so we'll give it a try. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use uh, this portal spawner from the portal mod. But I'm not really going to use it as a portal. Obviously, I will be able to walk through them when I'm done. But primarily, I want to use it as kind of a, a closed-circuit TV, I suppose. So um, I'm going to need, to begin with, at least just two of these. So I'll get four diamonds, a couple enderpool, ender pearls, uh, iron, and then I'm going to need some wireless transmitters and receivers. So I'm going to need more iron and redstone. So let's head upstairs to the requester and get those things requested. And as you can see, I did move that over here. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. My transmutation tablet. So I'm going to need 8, 16 iron, and I think I had 4 on me. So let's go for 12 iron, uh, 4 diamonds, 2 of these. Um, I'll need some redstone. Let's go with eight. And I'll need a lever and a redstone torch. There we go. And let's get some of this stuff made up. Uh, first, let's do the redstone ones because they're nice and easy. There we go, transmitter and receiver. And then this was diamonds on the side, iron in the corner, and ender pearl in the middle. That's pretty simple. And not really all that expensive considering how awesome it is if you're using it the way it's really intended to be used. Um, I'm also going to want another lever. And maybe some redstone or red alloy wire. Let's see, where is that wire? Do I have any left? Have I used all my wire? Well, I can request some of this. And keep looking, see if I've got any. Well, I don't see any wire, so I'll just use some of that alloy since I've got plenty left over. There we go. Cool. So we'll head back downstairs here. And what I want to do is, for each one of these switches, I kind of want to set up a closed circuit TV so I can look at them. Um, and I think to do that, I'm just going to put a lever on the bottom, put a couple signs, one that says monitor, one that says power, um, and set them up. Uh, let's just start with the first one, I guess. Yeah, we'll just do it like this. Pull out a couple of these. Uh, some of these are really close in here, like the centrif centrifuges and peat bogs, but that's okay, I don't mind. Uh, I'm still going to set them up because it's kind of fun. And I think how I want to do it is just clear these out. Oh, look, some tin. Um, well, maybe I'll just come back and get to that later. Not a big deal. I've got plenty of tin. I haven't been using too much of it. So there's going to be a lever right here and it's going to need to power two transmitters. So actually I'm going to need another transmitter, I think. Well, before I get to that, let's set them up, set this thing up over here. So this is going to be one of the receivers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip a lever, a lever down here. Uh, say I've got this lever on the quarry. Uh, right now it's off. I'm going to turn it on and it's going to open up 
a portal here, and it's going to open up a portal near the quarry where I can see kind of what's going on. Uh, and I'll be able to see through this as if it's uh, basically closed circuit TV. So this is going to need a transmitter to both the quarry and to this uh, portal right here. So I guess I'm going to need two transmitters and two receivers for each switch that I've got set up. The one of them will always be here, so two transmitters and one. Okay, so let's go back up and get another transmitter then. Easy enough. Um, which one's the transmitter? Transmitter is the redstone torch. There we go. Awesome. And then head on back down here. And I think I've got room here where I can just do two of them pretty easily. I'll put one behind it and one below it, and that should work. And then we'll put this other portal over here. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and set that up right now. So what I want for this portal is I'm going to need a receiver here under this portal and we'll make it something like 500. There we go. And then we'll put this back on top of there and transmute that. And I will pretty it up. I think I'm probably going to go with maybe obsidian around here and just smooth stone underneath it. But for right now, that's fine. And this will go here. Do you want to close when redstone power is cut? Yes. And I'm going to make this one blue. So now I've got a portal right there on 500. And I will put a transmitter here on 500. And I will put a transmitter here on, well, let's see what that one is. Is that 101? Yeah, so 501. So all of them will transmit 500. And this one will transmit, since it's frequency 101, I'll just make it 501. And then we'll put the basalt back up on top of it. And grab my lever here that I used while I was explaining kind of what the heck I'm doing. Probably poorly, but that's okay. There we go. And now when we turn it on, this one comes on right away, which is awesome. But now we just need to get back to the refinery and set up a um, receiver on 501 looking at the refinery so I can look into that room. Uh, so I'll turn that off, come back up here to, these, uh, to the requester, get a receiver, and meet you over in the refinery room to get this set up. So I'll be back in just a second. Alright guys, uh, I'm back here in the refinery area and I decided... Uh, while I was here to check on my fuel levels, looks like I'm running a little low, so I will turn this on. Uh, this is the part that I kind of want to automate with those gates. Um, so hopefully in the future, after next episode or the one after, I won't have to come back down here and check on these anymore to see if they've got fuel. Um, give this just a few more seconds here to fill up. All right, ter not terribly exciting here, but come on, you can do it. There we go, he's starting to fill up a bit. Uh, he's over half, that's probably good enough. There's still fuel in the pipe. All right, so we'll come back up, and I don't think I want to put it down in this room. I think I just want to keep an eye on my f oil and fuel levels with this uh, closed caption TV thing. Um, I actually cleared out this area a couple, between episodes a couple episodes ago. I don't know that I bo ever bothered mentioning it, but I couldn't see very well at the top of these uh, tanks, so I just cleared it out a bit. So I think I'm going to put the other half of this closed circuit TV just right up here, and hopefully that will mean I can see these tanks. Um, we might have to fiddle around with where it is exactly. I haven't tested it very thoroughly. 
but I think that'll work pretty well. We'll see. Whoa, that was a heck of a jump. Go, 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 boots of striding. Um, so we will clear out this. Oops, actually, I don't need to clear those out. That's okay. I just want to clear out this bottom one, because that's where the receiver is going to go. And this was 501. 501. And we'll put these two back that I removed because I'm an idiot. There we go. And put this portal spawner right here above it. And that other one was blue, so we'll make this orange. And there we go. So now, when 501... Sorry. Clicking here without falling through the floor. Uh, when 501 is activated, that portal spawner should open up. And I should be able to see, I think, at least this tank here, which will give me an idea of how much fuel I have. Which is perfect. Um, so I'm going to run back over to the factory and uh, turn it on and we'll see how it works. I'll be back in a sec. Alright, just pulling into this place here. Let's come back over here and turn this bad boy on and see what happens. Um, well, I can see the tanks. That's awesome. And I can see that I've got like five, four or five tanks uh, empty at the top. That's sweet. That w worked perfectly. Look at that. Awesome. So then you can come back over here and turn that monitor off. And it should go off from both sides. Perfect. Sweet. So that worked perfectly. Um, so now I'll just go up to my requester and get a couple more of these things and we'll set up a couple more of them. Uh, I'll be back in just a sec. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, I didn't count what I needed exactly very carefully, but all I'm doing is I'm setting up two portal spawners. Um two transmitters and one receiver for each of the monitors that I've got down here. Um, and I don't have enough diamonds at the moment to finish all of them, but I'll get probably three more of them done here. Uh, probably the quarry, since that's down below, and maybe the uh, pumpkin melon farm, since that's over in the laboratory area, and one of these other ones. It doesn't really make much difference which one. Um, but that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Uh, I didn't explain it very well there, sorry. Um, so let's just uh, pop this open and we'll make a few of them and then I'll cut the camera again once you get the gist again of what I'm doing. There we go. I'm probably going to need more iron, but that's okay. And I need two transmitters for each one but only one receiver because this one over here already has a receiver and it's being used by all of them so let's just do two more receivers and which one's the receiver I never remember I think the receiver is the lever uh, yeah the receiver is the lever There we go. And then six transmitters. And did I get enough? I think I actually managed to get exactly what I needed. How bizarre is that? Wow. I'm impressed. Actually, I'm more surprised. <laughs> but then we'll just cut out the back of this. I will need a pickaxe for that. running into some gravel here. There we go. Alright, and let's decide which ones we want to set up. Um, definitely the pumpkin farms, that's the furthest one away, so the back one is always going to be 500. And this one's going to be 502. Alright, and then what else do we have here? Um, let's go with the quarry for 500 and 506. And... 
Uh, the tree farm sounds pretty easy to do and it's just next in line, so I think I'll just do it. So 500. And 500 too. Awesome, and we'll get these basalts back up for the one that I've ones that I've completed. And I'll need my three levers, which wow, I can't believe I got everything I needed. And I made more uh portals than I needed, but I'll need those eventually, so that's cool. Uh, so let's run back to the melon farm, and we'll take a look there and see where we can get this set up, and then we'll come back over here and get the quarry and the tree farm. Uh, but I'll probably do those off camera, because you don't need to see me set up all of them, you just want to see how it looks, don't you? I'll be back in a sec once I'm over at the pumpkin farm. Alright, I'm back here at the pumpkin farm, just kind of looking around, trying to decide where I want to set this thing up so that I can kind of see what's going on here. Um, I'm thinking I might just put it in this tree. Uh, it's got a pretty good vantage point. Let's get my shears down and clip one of these leaves here. There we go. And I think I might put the receiver just right here. Uh, but I want to punch that because I don't want the whole tree to come down. Here we go. So let's put the receiver right there. And put this right here. And this one's going to be orange. And then we'll change the number of this one. Pumpkin farm is what? I don't remember what number the pumpkin for. 502. Five oh two. And then maybe I'll put this leaf back on top of there to kinda hide it. Why not? Uh, it'll be in the way with that branch there, but I don't care, that looks fine. And I could probably get another one to hide that one there. With my boots, I can actually jump over these fences, which is kind of convenient. Cool, there we go. Um, can you place that there? I can, awesome. And here, you can have this back, I don't need you. Well, sometimes I can jump over these fences. Pah, whatever. Uh, I'll just walk around. There we go. Cool. Um, so I will head back now and we'll check out the location on that and see if that's good. And then I will set up the tree farm and the quarry off camera and we'll come back and look at all the CCTVs and see how they look. I'll be back again in just a sec. All right, I'm back, and as you can see, that pumpkin melon farm, of course, was frequency 201, not 202, and you guys probably knew that. But I'm a dumbass, and I didn't check. Um, I went back and fixed it, so now when we flip the lever, it'll come on here, hopefully. And it does not. I wonder what the problem is. Is it set up right back here? That one says 500 and 502. Let's check it out. Oh, this one says 502 as well. So I set it up wrong here on this end too, so it would have worked had I bothered to click it. Oh well. There we go. Now it'll work, and it'll work correctly. Hey, there we go. And you can check out the pumpkin farm. Looks like there's no problems over there. Everything's all hunky-dory. Looks awesome. Uh, I'm actually pretty pleased with this system. It's working even better than I anticipated. Uh, so I'm going to go set up the tree farm, which will be 502. And I'm going to set up the quarry, which is 506. And I will be back to show those off real quick, because you don't need to see me set up more of them. Um, I'll be back in a bit. Hey folks, uh, apologies if you can't see real well here. I was just down uh, putting that 
um, CCTV down into the quarry and I noticed that the quarry was kind of hung up over there and I came down here and it looked like it was hanging up on some ice that was being generated by permafrost from the fossils mod so that's something to keep in mind um, so I'm just coming down here using my Evertide amulet so I can swim down here and breaking up the ice um, and I'm running into some issues too because it just keeps regenerating itself so we'll come down underneath it here and see if we can get this sorted out see how it just keeps regenerating itself come on well let's see if we can get to it some other way keep going down I guess so that's kind of annoying, um, especially since the quarry can't actually collect ice. If it could collect the ice, that would be awesome, but it would still get stuck there, so that's kind of bad. Um, let's see. Now, can we get to the actual block that's causing this? Yes, we can. Okay, so maybe now we can break these. See if there's any others down here. That looks like it, I guess. So we can break all of these ice blocks and let it get back to its thing. Cool. Um, yeah, so I just broke my uh, wireless receiver up here to shut off the quarry because I saw that it was just going back and forth between two blocks and I couldn't figure out what the heck it was doing. Um, so I will get out of here and head back up there and we'll test out the CCTV now. Um, I will see you guys in a bit. I just wanted to show you that because it was an interesting thing to note. All right, everyone, I'm back. Uh, let's go ahead and test out the ones that I've got set up so far. I've got the tree farm, so let's turn that one on. We'll see what that looks like. Uh, staring right out over the engine there. You can see all the little saplings. It doesn't look like anything's growing. Oh, wait, there's some trees over there. Perfect. So you can see that. Awesome. And we'll turn that one back off. And check out the quarry here. Uh, the quarry isn't really ideally placed, but I didn't do a very good job of setting up this quarry anyway. So um, I think on the next one, what I want to do is I kind of want to put it in the center of the top facing down, looking into the quarry but I can't do that right now because that's right at water level uh, so I can't dig out the dirt above it but for the next quarry once this one gets completed it'll be better better located but this will do I mean I can see that the uh, arm is moving I can see that I've got water in there so I don't have mobs spawning so it's still pretty nice just not quite as good as I want it to be but future quarries I'll set it up correctly um, and I whipped up a couple more transmitters and uh, receivers so I can set up the rest of these here. Um, let's see, so transmitters are this one. Do I have enough? There's probably a better way of doing it than with just uh, 500 going all the way down the end here. I wonder, could I put like a cable back there? I could probably do that. I don't know, I might think about rewiring this a little bit, but for right now this will work. Um, we will set up 503 and 504. Oops, if I clicked on the right one. And 505. And these two back to 500, or these three, I guess. Yeah, there's got to be a way to do that. I'd have to think about it, though. We'll see. It just seems like a waste of a bunch of transmitters to put, put them behind each one of these switches. But uh, for the time being, this will work. And... Uh, cobblestone here, clean that up, make it all look good again, and I brought a couple signs so I can put signs up over here. This will say monitors, and this will be power. There we go. So monitors and power for each one of these, and you just come over here, 
uh, pumpkin farm to come over here and take a look. Hey, yeah, the pumpkin farm looks like it's doing great. Scarecrows are keeping all the pests away and everything's working fine. Awesome. So that's a pretty sweet little system. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, as you can see, I did pick up the carpenter. I decided I don't want the carpenter down in the bottom of that other building. Instead, I want to put it in the bottom of my auto crafter area because I can use that carpenter for other things. Um, potentially uh, building stuff that needs to be auto crafted. So I'm going to put it down here instead. Uh, maybe up against the wall over here somewhere. Let's see here. What did that carpenter have? It looks like it needs water and stuff. I didn't have it fully set up and figured out yet anyway. Uh, so the carpenter will go right here, obviously. And uh, power was down below it, I think. Or did I have power behind it? Doesn't make much difference, really. We'll put power behind it here. Yeah, and I don't even remember what frequency it was off the top of my head. I'll have to look at my notes. And the receiver here will go down below. And that will also activate water down there below once we get that hooked up. So that's perfect. Good enough for right now, and I'll set those frequencies in a bit. Um, let me take a quick break here and decide what else I want to work on. If I've still got time, I'll check my time as well. Uh, so I'll be back in a bit. All right, folks, I'm back. I've got just a few minutes, and I was just playing around with this, trying to figure out another way to do it rather than having uh, transmitters behind each and every block. But since I'm passing current both down to this block and behind it to the uh, 500 block, which is that one over there, um, I can't think of a good way to do it. I might be able to finagle something with bundled cables, but I think it's going to be more hassle than it's worth. So I guess I'll just go back to the way I had it with a 500 behind each and every one of them, um, which isn't a big deal. I mean, they're pretty cheap. I was just trying to come up with a more elegant, clean solution, but that's all right. Um, I do have a few more minutes, so we'll go back to the uh, assembly table in just a second and take a look at what we've got over there and finish up some AND gates. Uh, but I'm going to clean up this area, and then I'll be back. All right, I got this room all cleaned up. I was going to try to be clever and put um, a hidden door here, but you can't use a hidden door on top of basalt, which makes sense. There are different mods. Uh, it actually ended up looking like gravel here, which was no good, but I just made a little access panel behind here so I can come down and check all the frequencies and make sure everything's working. And these are the last two slots for the last two spaces we've got up there in that control room. Um, if we go beyond that, I don't know what I'll do. I might have to expand this room a little bit or something. We'll see. Um, put obsidian up here so it looks pretty good now. So we check on the carpenter, frequency 205, and uh, carpenter didn't work. Apparently I didn't set that one up. Let's go with the quarry. There we go, quarry. Check it out. Looks pretty good. Uh, awesome. So I'll get these last few set up and working uh, off camera between episodes, but for now I think we're going to head up to this assembly table and check it out, see how those uh, chipsets chip went, and hopefully we can request some AND gates. Let's see here. They probably dumped in here. Yeah, iron chipset. Um, what else do we need? Anything else? I don't know. Let's just pull all this stuff out and throw it in here and we'll see what we get. Um, iron and chipset. There we go. So if we pull this out, what does it require? Uh, I must require some of this wire. So I'm glad I made some. Um, we don't want a gate though. We want an ironed and iron and gate. And what this will do is a little hard to explain again, but uh, until we actually get it. Whereas the gate only has one logic, uh, one, one logic, uh, I can't even think of what the word is, but w you can only put in one thing to request, like, uh, checking to see if a tank is full or whatever. Uh, the, an the iron gate 
allows two of them at the same time, and then it's an and between them. So if the first one is true and the second one is true, then you can set whatever um, resultant situation you want to come out of the other end, but both of them have to be true. So it's pretty slick. And I'll use that eventually to upgrade the uh, fuel back in the other room. But for the time being, we'll just let that process. Um, I think we're probably close enough to done for tonight, so I think I'll just go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. That CCTV thing is pretty neat. I've never seen it done before, so I thought it was kind of clever. Um, I'm sure it's been done. I just haven't seen it. <laughs> uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and you'll come back next episode. Until that time, have fun and keep moving.